So, quick little update on the dolphin excursion. We've been out looking for dolphins, but as per nature, the no show. You can't really make an appointment with dolphins, so it's no hardship. Been out in the boat for about an hour, maybe looking for them. Still not found any yet, but I think we're going to give it like another 30 minutes, you know, like just cruising around. You know, we're kind of between two islands, I think. I think we're between uh, like Cebu and like Domagay, which I'm not really sure what that islands are called, but they're called something else. You know, Cebu is a city and Domagay is a city, but I think maybe it's a passageway that the dolphins use. They, they swim up and down that passageway, and that's what the uh, the guys in the boats they're all tapping into. We've actually passed quite a few boats and I think they've all been kind of struck out so possibly we're not going to see any today which is kind of disappointing but we can always go back another day you know like it's not it was uh, there's I think there's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 there's 11, 11 of us on the boat uh, including uh, three kids and it only costs us 5,000 pesos you know what I mean so you can't really argue with that mathematics you know so and that wasn't including the food we brought our own picnic with us you know but I actually contacted the guy on Facebook and what I'll do is actually I'll link in his page to this because it's quite a good little quite a good little excursion it's more like a private excursion than a, than, than like, a, like, like a whole bunch of people on the boat. So I see you've got like a group of people, you know, anything up to like 10 people, maybe 15 people, then this is a good, this is a good uh, option for you because the boat is nice, you know, freeze is good. I need to get some suntan lotion on because they're going to burn. But yeah, it's been good. It's been good. I mean, we got to go on the banana boat and uh, like a inflatable ring and they told us all over the place. I actually made some videos of it. So I'll, I'll post those videos in uh, in the, the videos. I'll, I'll edit them in, sorry. Hopefully I can because I, I, I'm not sure about my camera. My camera is a different make on my phone, but it should still work. You know, so it's been a good day. You know, like it's only 10 a.m. So we've still got loads of time to, you know, spot some dolphins. It's, uh, it's not, we, we left at 8 a.m. We were on the sandbar within like 30 minutes. You know, and then uh, we spent about maybe an hour on the sandbar, and then we came out. You know, so that's probably about two hours. You know, like we've been out so far, and it's it's a whole day thing. You know, it's like a all the way up to uh, 4 p.m. I think. You know, so it's quite a long day on the boat. You know, but it's all right. Like you know, I don't mind. I don't mind being on a boat. I, I'm kind of a, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a a bit of a fish anyway you know I like to swim and I like to snorkel and I like to do all these kind of things so I like it you know but it's not everybody's cup of tea to be out on a boat all day but I would definitely if you're coming out to the Philippines and you want to see some dolphins I would definitely give it a bash even though we haven't seen any up until now we might still see some and if we do I'll edit them in and everybody can see them but if we don't it's no hardship because that's just the way nature is nature is you know, like you go out on a boat to see some dolphins. You can't make an appointment with the dolphins. You can't go right. I'm going to be out at 12 p.m. I want you to be out in the bay so as then we can bring our tourists out. Dolphins don't operate like that. Whales don't operate like that. You know, like so. <laughs> you just got to take it as it comes. And if it doesn't come, hey ho, never mind. But anyway, have a good day and. I'll edit some more uh, footage in and everybody can see what's happening and whatnot. But yeah, I thought I'd just let you know, know like, that this, uh, this is what the, uh, we're out doing. And I'll, I'll maybe I'll edit in some photographs and that as well, so that people can see. But it's a lot of fun, it is a lot of fun. And we brought our own picnic in that as well. The, the captain of the boat didn't mind us bringing their own food. But if you do want your own food, it's 350 pesos each head, each person. But uh, and they will, and they will bring food for you, you know. So, you know, it's up to yourself what you what you prefer. We obviously brought our own because we, I'm a bit of a fussy eater, you know. So, I don't like to eat food that I don't know where it came from and whatnot, you know. So, and I like to see it when it's cooked. <laughs> I'm a bit, I'm a bit weird that way. 
No, but hey oh, have a good day. The tribe. So that's Albina. The hello Albina. There's Jennifer. Jennifer! Hey, there's Jennifer. And there's Ella and uh, Jesa and Jean. There's Jean and there's Jane. Is that right? Yeah. Jane and Jean. Yeah, yeah, I got it right. I always get the brothers that this is such a similar name. And then we've got Jamesy Boy. And then we've got Mitchell. Say hello. And then we've got Juliet and Vince. Vincent Van Gogh. So this is that's everybody we've got on the boat. This is the this is the front of the boat here. You know, I'm walking about my bare feet because the boat's pretty clean anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You know I mean, it's one of these stabilization boats, you know, so it's pretty stable as you go along the water. I can imagine if it was a choppy day, it wouldn't be so good, but it's a nice day today. The breeze is going. I think we're, I think we're circling back now to the sandbar, and then uh, we're going to go and do a little bit of swimming. Just as I was saying, we weren't going to spot any dolphins. We spotted some. I'm heading over to them now. I'm getting excited. I don't know how close we're going to get, but hopefully we'll get quite close. I just spotted it going over the surface. There! Oh! There is dolphins out there, but I don't know if we're going to see them as close as we want to, but there is dolphins there. Hopefully they're going to come into the boat, because dolphins are quite inquisitive, so hopefully they'll come in. Oh, this one. Is that? Is there? Is it? Is it? Is it just one dolphin? Is it just one? <laughs> one lone dolphin. It looks like a baby as well. It looks like a small one. Oh, there you go. I don't know where it's gone. It's there somewhere. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, it's right in front of us. Oh, it's right there. There it is, see it? One lone dolphin out by itself. Oh, there, oh no, it's a bigger one. He's there somewhere. You can see the ripples in the water. So, I'm just gonna, the sandbar, obviously it's a lot bigger than this. It's probably about a mile long, but it's only exposed at low tide and it's like early in the morning. It's probably like 8.30 in the morning we've got here because uh, the tide is low and uh, we'll, be, we'll be here to 4 p.m. though, but I don't know if that's enough to catch the other low tide, you know, when the tide comes in and then goes back out again. I'm not sure what's going to happen there. But look, like, you've got banana boats, you've got refreshment boats, you know, you've got loads of stuff going on, you've got loads of, loads of people cutting about as well. You know, and this, I'll show you the, I'll show you my feetsies. My feet are in the water, as you can see. It's quite clear. You know, I think it's more... Uh, crushed coral and sand mixed together, you know. So, so it's quite clear water, as you can see, you know. Like, go all right for a wee swim in there. I'm not feeling like a swim just now, though. It's too early in the morning for a swim, you know. And you can walk all the way out it, you know. Take a wee walk. You know, take a wee walk out here. Get the real gear than that is. So you can actually, you can actually see there's quite a lot of marine wildlife that like uh, use this. Like, because like, if you, I'm going to try and stop here and 
point the camera down, like, there's like holes like this. Now that is where crabs are. So see if you look, there'll be a crab in there somewhere. And there'll be another crab in here, in there, and another crab in there, you know, in that one there. So there's lots of, there's lots of these holes, obviously, you know, where there's crabs. But they won't harm you, they won't come out of the holes, you know. And if the sea eyes is the predators of the, of the planet, so they're not going to expose themselves. This is the sandbar. I'm hoping the sunshine's going to come out a little bit because... I really, I really want some sunshine today. You know, I, it does get rather hot in the, at this time of year when it, the sun is shining. I mean, like, rather, I mean, really, really hot. You know, it's going to be 33 degrees tomorrow, I believe, and it's about 31 degrees today already. So, yeah, it's, it's quite hot, but I don't mind it really, you know, but it'd be nice to have a little bit of sunshine, you know. This is the sandbar. Oh, there's a big banana boat coming in, look. He's gonna fill his banana boat up. Oh, look, there's a little, a little shell crab, look. Try and pick that one up. What, what, gonna get you, gonna get you, I've got you. Look, there's a little, there's a little crab in here. If my camera, camera's gonna focus. Come on, come on. Is it gonna focus? Ah, uh, my camera won't focus, but there's a little crab in that shell there. Hey Vince, why are you back here? Why? 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 See, the thing is, is salt water, right, yeah. in your crevices, and in your crevices, long term, all day, you know, we've got till 4 p.m., it's not going to be comfortable, you know, so you don't want to get too much salt water in your crevices, although you're too late, you know. It's okay, I don't You going on the banana boat? Yeah. You going the banana boat? Yeah, I think they're going on the a dragon banana boat. boat. Yeah. A dragon boat, sir. Yeah, they're on the dragon boat. If you want, yeah. What? Later. Ayo, banana em. You can take, you can take boys to water, but you can't keep them dry. No, oh, I'm alright. I'd sink it. Oh, I'd sit on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the other one is the kind of cheapy one. Yeah, yeah, you should also want it. You should like the, the boys used to do uh, the deal. So the sandbar is basically just a big, uh, a big bit of sand that there's a bay, there's a big bay in here. In this bit here where Bass City is, there's a big bay in there and uh, the sandbar is kind of what protects the bay, you know? And uh, I think it's basically just, you know, from storms and whatnot, you know, the sand is just congregated and you can actually see it on Google Maps. I'll maybe post a satellite image of it on Google Maps. 
is, a, is quite large as it goes, you know, and uh, it's exposed at low tide, you know, so you can walk along it at low tide, you know, and enjoy it. Enjoy the, the water and whatnot. You know, it's quite clear water actually, you know, so it's quite good. That is one noisy boat. I don't think that's got an exhaust on that boat. There's somebody following. I thought somebody was shouting me there. But yeah, it's quite an interesting, uh, it's quite an interesting, like, marine feature, this sandbar. You know, and a lot of people come out to enjoy it, and I think they make an effort. To look after it as well, you know. So, which is, you know, there's no point coming out and you know doing tourism out here if you're not going to look after one of the biggest assets in this whole this area, more or less. That boat is so noisy.